Hello there everyone and welcome. My name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear and today I'm here to help you build a team for your brand new Kid Gohan or your Int Super Garlic Jr., the actual best unit in the game right here. Just kidding. He's very, very good, but maybe not the best unit in the game because that's this Gohan. Anyway, we're here to build a team for every single category for both of these units. Uh, instead of separating them out, we're going to kind of combine them today. And I'll make sure that there's timestamps down in the description. So we're going to start with the Gohan, start with his leader skill. Then we'll work through all the other categories he's on. Then we'll go into the Int Garlic Jr. categories, do all of that as well. So you can check down in the comments or in the description. I'll have the whole timestamps laid out for you. That way you can jump around and hopefully it'll help you build your teams. All right, let's get started. All right, so when it comes to making a linking partner for this kid Gohan, uh, it is a little bit weird. You have to consider a couple different factors. So first off, you want another Heavenly Events category ally attacking in the same turn because you're going to get attack and defense 58%. Now, Heavenly Events is a very small category, so not every linking partner that we're about to mention does fit under this category. However, if you find one that does, that's fantastic. The second thing is that his links are pretty darn bad, so he's not going to be able to link that well with most units. However, he has this key plus three to try to make up for that. So essentially, whatever units he's on the rotation with, they're still going to be able to get super attacks off because they have this extra three key right here. So that is something to consider. So all the following units that I'm about to mention, one, they're going to be good linking partners on every category that they're on with this go hunt. So if we're talking about the other teams later on, the, I'm only going to mention any linking partners I haven't mentioned already. That way we're not circling the drain, talking about the same points over and over and over again. But the second thing to remember is that even if they don't share a ton of links, they might still be a good linking partner because of this support. So let's start with the objective, the best linking partner that this Gohan can have. And that is Exchange, Goku, and Gohan. Right here, first off, they are a Heavenly Events unit, which means you're going to get your additional attack and defense 58%. So that's number one. Great. Number two, Goku's family category allies, key plus two and attack and defense 30%. They're giving an extra two key on top of your already three key. So essentially, your units are only going to need like one key to super attack. As long as they are in Heavenly Events, Bonds and Master's Disciple, they're going to get that three key from Go, uh, Gohan's uh, leader skill right here. Get another three key from the friend support. Plus another three key from the Gohan's passive. And then another two key from this. So you only need one more to super if I did math correctly. Hopefully. They also stack defense in as well as your Gohan right here stacking defense. So they're going to be really great defensively. Good for long form content. Uh, super battle road might be a little bit of a problem. He does lower attack which is going to be great for debuffing. But because he's a free-to-play unit, his defense is not going to be that great at the start. That being said, long-form content, I think this is a very good unit to pair with him. You also have another great unit for long-form content, LR AGL Gohan, who really only shares Saiyan Warrior Race and Fierce Battle. So he's got some of the attack links here. But he is a Heavenly Events unit. He stacks defense. He's a LR, so he's going to start off with a pretty good amount of defense. You can check it out right here. 12,506 compared to a measly 7,323. It's just a huge difference. So ultimately, long form content, also a very good unit. The only difference is he's not going to have that support that this Goku and Gohan have right here. So I would say he's still probably the better linking partner, but this one's very good too. As well as a Bonds of Master and Disciple unit right here, the old leader. Future Gohan, who has the Bonza Master and Disciple category allies key plus one and attack and defense 30%. So you're still getting some support for your Gohan. Uh, he may or may not transform, depending on if you actually bring some trunks. But ultimately, the only problem is he is not a Heavenly Events unit. So you're not going to be able to get that additional attack 58%. But he shares four links instead of some of the other units that share less links. However, the other ones are still a little bit better. As well as lastly, I just want to mention the World Tournament Gohan here. He's a World Tournament unit, so his stats again start a little bit low, free to play, but he has Heavenly Events. He has a pretty decent amount of links shared here. Plus, he's just going to be eh, attack and defense 60%, plus additional attack 60%, plus an additional attack 60%, all calculated separately for a total of attack 296%. So ultimately, if you got this guy, he's fun to play around with with this Gohan. But as far as actually looking in the rest of the category to help build the rest of the team, you've got things like Int Go Tanks and Physical Go Tanks for Super Battle Road. You can get the stuns with Int Go Tanks and the seals with Physical Go Tanks. That's pretty good. 
Uh, Physical Piccolo is a decent unit to bring, especially because this Gohan right here, if I can get to it, has... A, a high chance of stunning the enemy when there's a Piccolo on the team. So you don't really need the Piccolo to be on the rotation, but as long as he's on the team, you're getting a 50% chance to stun, which should be helpful for SBR as well. So if you're running SBR, maybe it's a good idea to bring this Piccolo, especially because he's going to also show where the super attacks are. So that's good. Uh, LR AGL Gohan, we kind of already talked about that, but Bonds and Master and Disciple has a ton of possible units. So you get LR, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, plus AGL, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Great rotation. You can run uh, uh, LR, in Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, plus the AGL, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, because he's Realm of God support. You can run Physical Beerus, plus STR Whis, wherever he is. He's over there. You could run this good Trunks, because this Trunks has Hybrid Saiyan support. There's just so, so much you can actually run from those two. Really good units to actually bring. I'd say... Bonds of Heavenlies, or uh, Bonds of Heavenly, Bonds of Master and Disciple and Heavenly Events should be a pretty decent category for you to build as long as you pick one of these uh, teams, one of these linking partners to actually pair with the Gohan. So let's move on to Goku's Family or Hybrid Saiyans next. Probably Hybrid Saiyans next. All right, so then when we talk about Hybrid Saiyans, there's one other linking partner I want to mention just real quick. It's this Tech Ultimate Gohan. He can function as your leader right here, as a 170% leader, which is great. But just like our AGL Gohan, he is going to stack defense, which means he can use them in long form content. He guards all attacks, which means he's going to be helpful in Super Battle Road. And even though he has kind of ant links, he shares a decent amount of those with this kid Gohan. And that key support is going to be huge for this Gohan specifically. So I think those two make a pretty good rotation on Hybrid Saiyans. Now, with the other filler units you want to consider, this is a great support unit to just bring. Even if he's not on a main rotation, he is just fantastic. The damage reduction received is great, plus the super class key plus two attack and defense 30%. Whenever he comes on rotation with your other ones, you're going to be fine. You'll get your super attack off. It's going to be all good. Nobody cares about the links. You're fine. You also could bring a rotation with the Goten and Trunks because it's just that rotation is great. Pair them with either the Trunks, where are you, physical Trunks? You can pair them with uh, the other Gotens. They work out pretty darn well. So I'd say maybe running a Goten and Trunks and then a Goten and Trunks paired with it would be a great other rotation. You can also run the LR AGL Gohan and LR Tech Gohan. You can run LR B Pan if you get that easy aid. Uh, you could run, ooh, even this one right here would be a great support too. The Trunks and Goten GT. Because it's going to be a Goku's family support. All allies, key plus three attack and defense 40%, which... I mean, you're running Gohan and Goten. They're, they're Goku's family. They they match. So ultimately, you got a lot of supports you can bring. But ultimately, I'd say maybe for the other rotation, run either an extra tech Gohan rotation or just run Goten and Trunks plus a Goten or Trunks. Pretty darn easy. So let's move to Goku's family. And then if we're talking about Goku's family over here, one unit that actually really appreciates that key support from the Gohan is LR, Gohan, and Goten. Because ultimately, uh, they do build up their key, so by the second or third time they come around, they'll be fine. But the first turn, they could use the key support. You get it right here. So ultimately, LR, Gohan, and Goten could be a decent leader and also a decent unit to pair with that Gohan. But you could also run just the LR AGL Go uh, Goku because that's just fantastic. You can even pair him with the GT Goku because those two are great together. And ultimately, the GT Goku is just very, very good. Goku's family, you'll see, is just huge. I mean, main character of the, the show, he's got tons of units. You can run UI Goku plus UI Goku, uh, UI Goku plus God Goku. UI Goku plus Int UI Goku. Those are all really, really good. Uh, you can run over here. Gosh, uh, let's see. You can run the Gohan and Gohan. You can run B-Pan again. We talked about B-Pan. You can run Bardock plus any of the Super Saiyans. Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku plus Transforming Goku. You can run again the Gohan because that Gohan is so, so good. So this tech little bit Gohan, very good. You can even run Raditz plus uh, Time Traveler Mass Saiyan because those two are okay together. I've used those before, so that's pretty great. Uh, you could run... Oh, one unit I wanted to mention was this Bardock and Gine. You could run as a support because they're pretty great on Goku's family. Uh, you can run Kaioken Goku, the Burger King Goku man, plus the uh, other Gokus, probably the God Goku or something like that. God, there's literally just so many good Goku's family units that like, if you're having trouble... Just take a look, see what are the good ones that you can bring, and there you go. That's pretty much all you really need. 
but you essentially have all the units you wanted to pair with this Gohan anyways. So ultimately, if you're running him on Goku's family, that should also be a pretty easy team to build. If you have questions, again, you can always just let me know in the comments. Then let's go to youth. All right, and then when we look at youth, you're going to notice that there's like three major rotations you want to lean towards. You can run this Gohan plus LR AGL Gohan. That's going to be a pretty decent rotation. Uh, you can run a Gotenks rotation with Int Gotenks and like Fizz Gotenks. We kind of already talked about that before. Uh, or you can run the Goten and Trunks plus Goten and Trunks. So, or Goten or Trunks, sorry. And or, there we go. We'll put a little like slash. I'll, I'll like make a little slash with my hands and it's fine. Those are essentially the main rotations you'll want to run for youth. Uh, as far as category leaders go, the Gotenks is going to be a better category leader for you here. If you try to run the Goku, the Goku has a few problems because he's mostly a Dragon Ball Saga's unit and he's going to kind of struggle. Uh, he's got all in the family and fierce battle if you want to link him with your Gohan, but yeah, ultimately if you could, Gotenks is going to be a much better and easier to find leader for you. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, the only unit I really think is worth mentioning that we haven't already is Bula here. She's going to be a decent support with all allies, key plus three, and attack 40%. But because you're not going to have a lot of Peppy Gals units on the team, she is going to get hit pretty darn hard. She has no defense buff in her passive, and she has 8,000 defense at rainbow. So, uh, so, so, not really the best unit to bring. But she is a good support, so just another unit you can consider. But ultimately, youth is basically full of all the leader skill partners, the partners, that's the word, the linking partners that we've already kind of talked about. So basically, Goten and Trunks, and Goten or Trunks, go tanks, or you run Gohan plus Gohan. There you go. Now we have one more category I want to talk about, and that's going to be Planetary Destruction. Okay, so with Planetary Destruction, there is one very good linking partner that I want to quickly mention, and it is this Int. LR, not LR, Int Broly. The Int Broly. I saw Legendary Super Saiyan and I started saying LR, but it's the Int might as well be an LR Broly, who is just fantastic. He's going to have Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, and Fierce Battle with this Gohan, and he's just going to be incredible. He also happens to be the leader that you're going to be using anyway, so there you go. Then when we just kind of take a look at the whole category in general, there's a lot of good units you can bring, like LR Broly plus LR Broly. Those are pretty great. Int Cell plus, I don't know, STR Cell is pretty cool. Or oh, maybe Tech Cell if you have red coins. You can go with AGL Golden Frieza plus, I don't know, Cooler plus Cooler plus Int Frieza's great. You can run Physical Scouter Vegeta plus like Turles or 8 bit Vegeta. Or you can run it with like the LR Turles as well. I mean, there's, there's a decent amount of stuff there, but there's just a few examples that you can use. But ultimately, Planetary Destruction, you might be limited a little bit more, so you may want to dip more into movie bosses for that. But ultimately, with this Gohan, I'd say pair him with the Int at Super Saiyan Broly. He's very, very good. But I think that's going to wrap it up for the Gohan. So let's move on over to Int Garlic Jr. Senior, one of the two. All right, and now let's talk about Garlic Jr. So first, when you take a look at his category, Heavenly Events, you're going to notice that there really aren't that many extreme units, and there's not that many units that he can actually link well with. So ultimately, if you're planning to use him to lead Heavenly Events, you run him as filler and just throw him as like off-rotation floater unit, but if you really want to actually use Garlic Jr., might I recommend not doing it with him as the leader? It's generally, if you're just trying to use Heavenly Events, it's it's not going to be that good. I'll be honest. If you want to use Heavenly Events, you should be doing it because you have the Gohan, not because you have the Garlic Jr. But if you look at his other categories, he has plenty of other good categories and good linking partners that you can link him with. Specifically, on Resurrected Warriors, I would say this Metal Cooler is fantastic. He's going to have, I believe, Nightmare, if I remember correctly. N yes, Nightmare. He's got Nightmare, Big Bad Bosses, he's got Thirst for Conquest, and Fierce Battle. So a lot of attacking links here. Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, Nightmare, Thirst for Conquest are all great attacking links. He's going to be giving the rotation key plus three as long as the rest of the rotation is extreme class, which again, it should be. If you're running him, you should make sure he's paired with an extreme class unit. Attack and defense 40%. Awesome. Very, very good. 
So ultimately, I'd say running these two together as a linking partner on Resurrected Warriors is going to be your best option. Uh, you could also run him as a linking partner with this STR Bojack, but but I would say it's not quite the best, or at least not as good as Metal Cooler, just because you won't be able to get that Space Traveling Warriors category ally support, which Bojack loves. So you'll have to wait until you transform him. And when you transform him, he'll be fine. But just for those first couple turns, it might be a little bit awkward because you're not really getting that support off. That being said, Resurrected Warriors has gotten a lot better as a category, so there's a lot of good units you can use. I would recommend having the Physical Frieza as your leader, just because the Physical Frieza is amazing. So if you're able to use him, always try to use him as much as you can. That Physical Frieza is so good. Uh, you can link him with a Golden Frieza, like AGL or Tech Golden Frieza. You can link him with the Int Golden Frieza. Gosh, I mean, you can link him with pretty much even a uh, cooler as well. You can link him with the metal cooler if you wanted. It's not going to be quite as good, but should be okay. You'll get, get at least the Frieza clan links and all that. So ultimately, physical Frieza is another unit you can run uh, for other rotations. Running the LR Broly's is good. Cell. Cell is pretty nice. The STR Cell plus LR Int Cell. Uh, a lot of stuff that we kind of talk about normally as good rotations are great. You could also do the SS2 rotation here with SS2 Angel Goku and SS2 Majin Vegeta, or Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, technically. Those two, really, really good. Uh, this guy is super defensive. This guy is super healy. He's going to be healing you tons of orbs. Uh, you could also technically run Fit Boo plus like Tapion if you're running a Super Battle Road rotation. Ultimately, you're going to struggle with Ki a little bit there, but that damage reduction and then the stunning and dodging that Fitbu has, really great. Uh, you can also just run Tech Ultimate Gohan on his own, because just Tech Ultimate Gohan carries a whole rotation on his own. He's just great. Uh, you can even run SS2 Vegeta plus SS2 Angel Goku here. That's also a good rotation you can run. Even you could run Super Saiyan 2 Go Goku plus uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, because Super Saiyan 3 Goku, once he transforms, is gonna link well enough with that so ultimately like you got some good stuff in resurrected warriors you even have this exchange boo plus the supreme kai boo and all that should work out pretty darn well so resurrected warriors as a category he should do just fine on so let's go look at transformation boost all right so then when we look at transformation boost you'll notice that cooler right here is going to be the preferred leader and he actually links pretty darn well with cooler You'll see he's got Fierce Battle, Big Bad Bosses, and also, uh, I think, Thirst for Combat, if I remember correctly. Looking at STR Cooler right here, Thirst for Combat. Yeah, Thirst for Conquest, sorry. Thirst for Conquest. So you could run him with that, and that would be a pretty decent linking partner. Now, you could also run him with this unit once he transforms. He's going to have Big Bad Bosses. He's going to have, I believe, Metamorphosis and Nightmares, so, as well as Fierce Battle. So he'll have some... Decent links once this Janemba transforms with our guy, Super Garlic Jr. But because you're running STR Cooler as your leader, you can also run Terrifying Conquerors, which means you can run him with AGL Metal Cooler again. So yeah, I recommend doing that instead because AGL Metal Cooler with him, hmm, pretty darn fantastic. I mean, you're not really losing too much by linking him with like Janemba or Cooler. I just think that I like these two together because especially... I don't know. I think that they're just pretty darn strong together. So I'd say go with those two. But if you don't want to go with them, pairing him with STR Cooler, especially once he does his little transformation here, is going to be pretty darn fantastic. So yeah, ultimately those are pretty good. And even if you just run him as a leader, maybe one, run one rotation with him and like physical cooler or something or one of the Frieza's and then just have him floating. He's still going to be giving transformation boost category allies key plus two in attack and defense 30% most of the time. So you're going to be getting that 30% most of the time because you'll be facing one enemy. If you're in super battle road, then yeah, probably just transform him when you can. But ultimately, yeah, those are going to be his linking partners. Then if you look at the actual category itself, again, you've got the cells. You've got Gogeta and Vegito right here. You can run Android 13 plus probably another Android somewhere in here. Maybe a, the Cell rotations. You can run a Boo rotation, Tech Exchange Boo and Boo. You can run Int Final Form Frieza plus Physical Angel Frieza right here. You've got Kid Boo as a support you can throw on here. I think probably you could even link our boy here with uh, Int Janemba. Let me just double check that because I didn't check that beforehand. Yeah, he's got Big Bad Bosses, he's got Nightmare, Fierce Battle. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, he won't be quite as good as he is with some of the other ones, but he is still going to be pretty darn good if you want to run him with this one. He's a redstone unit, so you can get him basically for free. 
So ultimately, yeah, I would say Super Garlic Jr. does pretty darn well on Transformation Boost, and Transformation Boost just has tons of units that you can use. So that's just a few examples. Again, hopefully it helps. And let's go to the next one, which is going to be Dragon Ball Seekers. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention with Transformation Boost when you're running a Terrifying Conquerors is you also have this guy right here, Meta Rildo, who is actually Garlic Jr.'s best linking partner here. Well, he's in a GT boss category ally, which is unfortunate. Garlic Jr., when he's going to show up in GT? I don't know. We need to find the last episode. But if you take a look here, he's got Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis, Nightmare, Fierce Battle, also Fear and Face. No, not Fear and Faith. So he's got Fierce Battle. He's got a lot. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, five links. I can count. Yes. So ultimately, they are very, very good together. And this guy, Meta Rildo, is actually very good after his awakening. So this is one you could possibly consider. That being said, I still really like having a Metal Cooler with him because I feel like it does do a little bit more. And they link a good bit as well. And you're basically just going to heal all your damage every single turn. So that's pretty darn cool. But let's continue on. All right. So when we talk about Dragon Ball Seekers here, you're going to notice that it is a bit of a limited category and you don't have access to a lot of the options you did when we were talking about the other teams. So you're going to pick a different linking partner. Now, there are two really viable options. Easy A Lord Slug here, who's free to play. He's going to share a ton of links. So he makes for a pretty decent partner. But might I recommend instead LR Demon King Piccolo, who does share less links, but he is a demon. And this is the Demon of Destruction. So, you know, pair the demons together. But also, he's going to be sharing Revival, Demonic Ways, Nightmare. He's going to be making his own Key Spheres, so he'll be fine on his super attacks. Same thing with uh, Garlic Jr. here. He's going to have his Key th plus 3 support. He'll be just, just fine for making those super attacks happen. So overall, those two are pretty good together. Now, for your other rotation, I would recommend running LR Goku GT Pan and Trunks. Uh, they're pretty decent if you pair them with Int Easy A Giru. I think that rotation is pretty darn strong. And you got to run them anyways because they are really your only real leader. You can run some of the sub leads, but let's be honest. If you're running Dragon Ball Seekers, it's because it's you have this LR. And yeah, you want to make a team with it, which is fine. So run them on a main rotation. Run some supports like LRB Pan. LRB Pan is fantastic. Uh, you could run even a rotation with Int Final Form Frieza and maybe LR EZA Prime Battle Frieza. That's pretty good. 8-Bit uh, Vegeta and Scatter Vegeta are okay. You could even run like Kid Goku. And if you really want, you could run Kid Goku on a main rotation with maybe LR Goku and Bulma. That would be okay. You'd have your Dragon Ball Seeker stuff. Uh, oh, and you can even run this Bulma. She's still just an SSR, but she has a 70% or oh, sorry, a 50% chance to dodge enemies' attacks. It always feels like 70% because she dodges a lot. She's pretty darn good. And as long as you got a Kid Goku, she's going to get plus 9 key. Although her key is really not the reason you run her. You mostly just run her to have a unit that dodges. But overall, yeah, that's another good option you can do for Dragon Ball Seekers. So. Let's move on. So next on the block here is Time Travelers. And when you look at the Time Travelers category, there's a few different leaders, but I would recommend running him with a Bojack. So you can also have Space Traveling Warriors and have a linking partner right here. So Super Garlic Jr., we already talked about him. He'll link decently with SCR Bojack. And once they transform, you're not going to have to worry about the awkwardness of not having Space Traveling Warriors support here. Because essentially just, you go full power Bojack, you're good to go. You're going to get good damage overall. So those two are fine. Plus the key support makes it so even though they only share like Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, and Fierce Battle, all just attacking links, they are going to be fine on key. So ultimately go with that. Then since you've got Space Traveling Warriors, you're able to fill the team with lots of good units like LR Tech Jiren, bless our STR Topo over here. You can run Physical Beerus and STR Whis. You can run Bojack and LR Int Bojack over here. You can run the LR Freezes over there. You can run, goodness gracious, you can run AGL Turles if you wanted to. Just as support with, I don't know, LR Turles, because those are pretty darn cool as a rotation. I mean, ultimately, Space Traveling Warriors is a really great category. But if we look at Time Travelers as well, you can also run your Cells, 
You can run Goku Black stuff. You can run anything with Trunks. You can run Vegito's Super Saiyan Blue Vegito's and also uh, Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. There's, this is a whole lot you can run basically here. So I would say ultimately, when you're picking a Time Traveler's category unit to actually use as your leader, go with the Bojack because it's going to open your mind, open your possibilities to so many different units that you can use with Garlic Jr. So ultimately, go with that. Now let's look at well, we kind of already talked about Terrifying Conquerors when we talked about Transformation Boost. So actually, let's just talk about Revenge next, and then we'll wrap things up. All right, and for the Revenge category, his final category here, you'll notice that we unfortunately have to use AGL Bardock, which is not a bad unit, but it would be great if we had an extreme unit because we're going to end up floating this Bardock because you're going to just fill your team with all extreme rotations like the Broly's, like the Cells. You can even run extreme supports like the Toa. But if you're going to run this rotation, you really, really, really want Bardock on a main rotation. You can go with them with the friend Bardock and your Bardock and then just transform one and then they'll link and it'll be fine. But ultimately, he's going to be a little more useless. That being said, you can also run this guy here, Tech Ultimate Gohan, and just have him have his own little rotation and just let Bardock suffer a little bit by being paired up with him. But ultimately, those are pretty good. And Toa here is a good support to mention if I haven't done that already. But ultimately, the revenge category, it's not going to be his best category, but he'll still be all right on it. Uh, you still got AGL Metal Cooler as a linking partner, so that's just fine. So ultimately, like, Garlic Jr., he's not, he doesn't really have a bad category if you don't count Heavenly Events, which I'm not, because uh, Heavenly Events is just not a category in my mind. But <laughs> ultimately, like, he's going to be pretty good on every single one of his categories, even Dragon Ball Seekers, so... Yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys. I don't know how long it is by this point because we covered a lot. But hopefully you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a good day, a good week, and a good life. And I hope that you also click that subscribe and that like button because that helps my channel quite a bit. All right, bye bye <laughs>